under the CPP troubleshooting simplified series. Today we will see about acute examination of a patient at the initiation of cardiopulmonary bypass. It can lead to blood loss, hemodynamic instability, organ damage and ultimately to death if unattended. It can be caused by arterial cannula in aortic or femoral which is trapped in the vessel wall or perforated through the arterial wall. Arterial cannula dislodges at the initiation of CPB limiting forward arterial blood flow while patient blood volume continuously draining into the venous reservoir. It can be prevented by taking the precautions like Assessing pressure fluctuation on cannula after placement, monitoring arterial line pressure for continuous normal fluctuations, comparing the cannula pressure with the mean arterial pressure of the patient, notifying the surgeons of any irregularities before or at the initiation of CPB. Do not initiate CPB until the surgeon revises the arterial cannula placement. Let us see about how we can manage this. Prevent or limit exsanguination of the patient's blood into the CPB circuit by clamping. Forward arterial blood flow rate has to be stopped immediately. Clamp the arterial line and venous line immediately. Return the collected blood to the patient through the venous cannula. If you are having an arterial filter, use the purge line, which can be connected to the venous line with a three way and distally put a clamp and proximally allow the blood to go to the venous line or otherwise if we having a peripheral line which can be used as a recirculation line that can be directly connected to the patient's neckline and we can replace the volume do not initiate cpb until the surgeon revises the arterial cannula placement